everybody today we will crochet the pocket motif for the flower tastic pocket shawl before we begin i want to tell you we can also use this motif to make this vest and poncho that you see on the screen i have linked the pattern for both the vest and the poncho along with the flower tastic pocket shawl in the description box below this is a step by step easy beginner friendly tutorial the time stamps for all the rounds has been linked below Hello and welcome to Let's All Crochet. Thank you so much for clicking. Now let's begin. We can use any DK weight or light weight yarn. So any weight 3 yarn is okay. Now this is the yarn that I am using. I am going to leave all the details in the description box below. So I am making the pocket for the pocket shawl. So I am going to be using a 5mm or an 8 size crochet hook. If you are making the jacket, you are going to be using a 6.5mm crochet hook. So we can begin either with a magic circle or with a chain 4 and make a ring. I am going to link the easiest magic circle tutorial on the top right of the screen and in the description below if you want to check it out. Let's begin with a slip knot to make the chain 4. Once we make a slip knot, we are going to chain 4. Yarn over and pull through 1, 2, 3, and four. So we have made four chains. Now we are going to go to this very first chain that we made. This is our slip knot. This is the first chain and make a slip stitch. So insert your hook into the top loop of the V like this. Then yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. So we have made a small ring. So we want to make sure we work into the center of the ring. So stretch the ring out and this is the center of the ring. Here we have the loop of the chain 1, so don't work into this loop. So just tighten it by tugging on the slip knot. And we are going to work into the center of the ring. We are going to begin with a chain 3. This is our first double crochet. And now we are going to make 11 more double crochet into the center of this ring. So remember to work into the center. Insert your hook, make 1 double crochet. 2, 3 and continue till you have 11. I will meet you once you finish. In case you have started with the magic ring or magic circle, round 1 is going to remain the same. So we are going to chain 3. This is our first double crochet and now we are going to make 11 double crochet into the center of the ring. So I will meet you once you finish. Sorry, the 11 double crochet. So once we reach the end of the round, we are going to tug on this tail end and tighten this ring. We will do the same no matter whether it's the chain 4 or the magic ring. So once we tighten, we are going to count all our stitches. We are going to have 12, 11 double crochet and this first chain 3 is going to count as a stitch. So we will always count the chain 3 as a stitch and now we are going to join by a slip stitch to the third chain. So this is our first chain, this is our second chain and this is our third chain. You can see your first double crochet and just before that you are going to find the third chain. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. So this is the end of round 1. Round 2, we are going to chain 3. And now we are going to chain 1 more. So this is a chain 1, a double crochet and a chain 1 stitch. Now we are going to go to the next stitch here and we are going to make a double crochet. And then a chain 1 stitch. Go to the next stitch, make a double crochet and a chain 1 stitch. So for this round, we are going to make a double crochet and a chain 1 stitch in all the stitches till the end of the round. I will meet you once we reach there. I have reached the end of the round. Now if we count our double crochets, we are going to have 12. Remember to count the chain 3 as a double crochet. And we are also going to have 12 of these chain 1 stitches. That we have made. So you can see this is my last double crochet and the last chain 1 stitch. After that we have our slip stitch. Then we have our chain 3. So this is our chain 3 and this is the fourth chain we made as the chain 1. So remember into the third chain we are going to join by a slip stitch. 1, 2, 3. Insert your hook into the third chain. Yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. Sorry. This is the end of round 2. Round 3, 
We are going to begin with a chain 3. Now we are going to make a double crochet in the same stitch. So at the bottom you are going to see a small gap here. Make a double crochet in the same stitch. Make a double crochet in the chain 1 space. So yarn over, insert your hook into the chain 1 space like this and make your double crochet. Make two double crochets at the top of this next double crochet. One and two. Make one double crochet in this chain one space. So in this round we are going to make two double crochet at the top of every double crochet and one double crochet in all the chain one spaces. So while you are making the double crochets Make sure you go below both the loops of the V of the previous stitch. So I will meet you at the end of this round. To reach the end of the round, I have 36 double crochet. I am going to join by a slip stitch to the third chain of the chain 3. Now let's go to the next round and we are going to make a square in this round. Round 4, we are going to begin with a chain 3. 1, 2, 3. So this is our first double crochet. Now we are going to go back to the same stitch and make one more double crochet. Now we are going to make a chain 2. 1 and 2. And now we are going to go back to the same stitch and make two more double crochet. One and 2. This is a 2 double crochet, chain 2 and 2 double crochet. So this is our very first corner stitch. Now we are going to go to the next stitch and make a half double crochet. Now be very careful you don't miss this very next stitch. So we have worked here, yarn over, this is where we are going to work. Insert your hook below both the loops of the V, yarn over and pull through. We have 3 loops on our hook, we are going to yarn over and pull through all three. So this is our first half double crochet. Make another half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through all three. Now we are going to make a single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and 4. Next we are going to make a half double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook, make another half double crochet in the next stitch. And now we are going to make a corner stitch in the next stitch. So first we are going to make two double crochets. Then we will make a chain 2, 1 and 2 and then go back to the same stitch and make 2 more double crochets. So after the corner stitch, we have half double crochet, half double crochet, 4 single crochet, half double crochet, half double crochet and then another corner stitch. So we are just going to repeat this pattern 2 more times. Start from this half double crochet. Then we will make another half double crochet, then four single crochet, then half double crochet, then half double crochet and then a corner stitch. You will repeat this two more times and I will meet you there. So I have repeated the pattern two more times. We have finished making all our four corner stitches. After this corner stitch, we are going to make a half double crochet, a half double crochet, four single crochet, One more half double crochet. So sorry. And one more half double crochet in this very last stitch. Now we are going to join by slip stitch to the third chain. This is the end of round 4. Round 5, we are going to begin with a chain 3. All the chain 3s are the first double crochet. So we are going to go to the next stitch here and make a double crochet in it. And now you can see we have reached this chain 2 space. In this chain 2 space we are going to make a corner stitch. 
in all the chain 2 spaces, we are going to make a corner stitch. So, a corner stitch is 2 double crochet, 1, 2, chain 2, 1, 2 and 2 double crochet in the same space. Now let's begin the repeat pattern for this row. We're going to make a double crochet in 5 stitches starting from here. 1, 2, 3, go to the next one 4 and 5. I'm sorry. Now we are going to chain 3. 1, 2, 3. We are going to skip the next two stitches. So skip this one and skip this one. And in this next stitch, we are going to make a double crochet. Make a double crochet in the next four stitches as well. One, two, three. So we have 5 double crochet in all counting from this space. Now we have reached a corner stitch. So in this chain 2 space we are going to make a corner stitch. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1 and 2. We are going to repeat this pattern 2 more times. So after the corner stitch we are going to make 5 double crochet, chain 3, skip 2 stitches and then make 5 double crochet again. Then make a corner stitch in the chain 2 space. So repeat it 2 more times and I will meet you there. So finish repeating the pattern 2 more times and now I have the end of my round left. So after the corner stitch we are going to make 5 double crochet starting in the very next stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we are going to chain 3. We are going to skip the next 2 stitches and in the next stitch make a double crochet. We are going to make a double crochet in the next stitch and make a double crochet in this next stitch. So now we have finished the round after making these 3 double crochet. Join by a slip stitch to the third chain of the chain 3. This is the end of the round. Round 6. We are going to begin with a chain 3. Double crochet into the next 3 stitches. So this is the next stitch. 1, 2, 3. And now we have reached the chain 2 space. We are going to make a corner stitch in it. Make 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet. So after the corner stitch, we are going to begin a repeat pattern for this round. So from the next stitch, we are going to make 5 double crochet. So make sure you don't miss this very first stitch right after the corner stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 5. Now we are going to chain 3. 1, 2, 3. And now we are going to jump to this chain 3 space. So just skip over these two double crochet that you see. Jump over to the space and make a single crochet in it. Just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through both. Now we are going to chain 3 again. We are going to skip the next two double crochet. So skip this one and this one. And into the next one, we are going to make a double crochet. Make a double crochet in the next stitch. So we are going to make 5 double crochet in all after this chain 3 space. And we will notice we have again reached this chain 2 space. We are going to make a corner stitch in it. Two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. This is the end of our repeat. 
So we're going to begin our next repeat now. We're just going to repeat this pattern two more times. We're going to make five double crochet, chain three, single crochet in this chain three space, chain three, skip these two double crochet here and make five double crochet again. Then we are going to make a corner stitch in the chain two space. So I've repeated the pattern two more times and reached the end of the round. So let's finish this round together. So we're going to make a double crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to chain three, jump to this chain three space, make a single crochet, chain 3 again and we are going to skip 2 double crochet and make a double crochet in this last stitch of the round. Join by a slip stitch to the third chain of the chain 3 and this is the end of the round. Row 7. This time we are going to start with a slip stitch to the next stitch. So this is our next stitch. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. And now we are going to chain 3. Double crochet in the next 4 stitches. This is the next one. 1, 2, 3 and 4. And now we have reached the chain 2 stitch. We are going to make a corner stitch here. Now let us begin the repeat pattern for this row. Double crochet in the next 5 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we are going to chain 3. Skip the next 2 double crochet. Go to the chain 3 space, make a single crochet, chain 3, jump to the next chain 3 space and make another single crochet, chain 3, skip 2 double crochets and in the next double crochet we are going to make a double crochet, make 4 more double crochets. Now we have reached the corner stitch, we are going to make 2 double crochet, chain 2 and 2 double crochet. So now we are going to just repeat this pattern 2 more times. Right after the corner stitch we are going to make 5 double crochet, chain 3, single crochet, chain 3, single crochet in the next chain 3 space, chain 3. Make 5 double crochet and then make a corner stitch. Repeat this 2 more times and I will meet you once you finish. So I finished repeating the pattern 2 more times. And now let's finish the rest of the round. Make a double crochet in the next 5 stitches. Single crochet in this first chain 3 space, chain 3 again, single crochet in the next chain 3 space, chain 3 again and we are going to end the round by a slip stitch to the third chain. So we have not worked in these last two stitches. Round 8, chain 3. Double crochet in the next 6 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now we have reached the chain 2 space. We will make a corner stitch in it.
after the corner stitch. Let's begin our repeat pattern for this row. Double crochet in the next 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, So now we have reached the first chain 3 space, we are going to make 2 double crochet in it. So into the space make 1 and into the space make 1 more double crochet. Now we are going to chain 3, 1, 2, 3, go to the second chain 3 space and make a single crochet in it. And now we are going to chain 3 again, 1, 2, 3. Go to the third chain 3 space and make 2 double crochet in it. 1 and 2. After this, we are going to make 7 double crochet in these next 7 double crochet. So in all the double crochet, make a double crochet. Once you reach this chain 2 space, you are going to make a corner stitch in it. I will meet you once you finish. Now we are going to repeat this pattern 2 more times. Right after the corner stitch, we are going to make 7 double crochet. Then we are going to make 2 double crochet in the first chain 3 space, chain 3, make a single crochet in the second chain 3 space, chain 3, make 2 double crochet in the third chain 3 space. Then we will make 7 double crochet in the next 7 stitches and we will reach the chain 2 stitch, make a corner stitch in this chain 2. So repeat it 2 more times and I will meet you once you finish. So I have repeated the pattern 2 more times, let's finish the rest of the round. After the corner stitch, we are going to double crochet in the next 7 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now we are going to make 2 double crochet in this chain 3 space. Chain 3. Single crochet in the second chain 3 space, chain 3 and make 2 double crochet in the third chain 3 space. Now this is the end of our round, join by a slip stitch to the third chain. Now let's go to row 9, we are going to begin with a chain 3. After that, we are going to make a double crochet in all the stitches till we reach this chain 2 stitch. So beginning from the next double crochet, make 1 double crochet in all the stitches till we reach the chain 2. I will meet you there. Make a corner stitch in the chain 2 space. 2 double crochet, chain 2 and 2, I am sorry, 2 double crochet, chain 2 and 2 double crochet. And now we are going to begin the repeat pattern for this round. So we are going to make a double crochet in the next double crochet which is this double crochet. And continue making a double crochet in all the stitches till we reach this last double crochet here or till we reach this chain 3 space. So I will meet you there. Just make one double crochet in all the stitches. So now I have reached this chain 3 space. We are going to make two double crochet in this chain 3 space. 1 and 2. After this, we are going to chain 3. We are going to jump to the next chain 3 space here and make 2 double crochet in it as well. 1 and 2. Now we are going to come to these double crochets here. So starting from this first double crochet, we are going to make a double crochet in all the stitches till we reach this chain 2 space again. So make your first double crochet in this stitch and continue making a double crochet till you reach the chain 2 space. I will meet you there. So I have reached the chain 2 space. Make a corner stitch in it. 2 double crochet, chain 2, and then 2 double crochet. So this is the end of our repeat. So now we are just going to repeat the pattern two more times. Start making a double crochet from the next stitch. Then we are going to make a double crochet in all the stitches till we reach the first chain 3 space. Make two double crochet in the first chain 3 space, chain 3, 
jump to the next chain 3 space, make 2 double crochet in it and then make 1 double crochet in all the stitches till you reach the chain 2 stitch. Here we are going to make a corner stitch. So repeat this 2 more times and I will meet you once we finish. So I have repeated the pattern 2 more times and reached the end of the round. Let's finish this together. So we are going to start making a double crochet from the very next stitch and continue till we reach the first chain 3 space. So you can see I have reached the very first chain 3 space. We are going to make 2 double crochet in it. After that we are going to chain 3. Make 2 double crochet in the next chain 3 space. 1 and 2. And now we have 2 double crochets left here. So we are going to make a double crochet in each of them. And this is the end of our round. So we will join by a slip stitch to the third chain of the chain 3. So you can see we have finished the pattern. Now we are just going to add a single crochet border and then we will add a pico border if we like. Begin with a chain 1 because this is a single crochet round. Now go back to the same stitch, make a single crochet. And now we are going to continue making one single crochet from this very next stitch in all the stitches till we reach the chain 2 stitch. So continue making a single crochet in all these stitches till we reach this chain 2 stitch here. I will meet you there. So we began single crochet from here. I have reached the chain 2 stitch. Now in this chain 2 we are only going to make 3 single crochet. Make 1 single crochet. Go back to the same space 2. Go back to the same space 3 and now we are going to turn our work. Starting from this next double crochet that we see here, we are going to make 1 double crochet in all the stitches till we reach the chain 3 space. So continue till we reach the space here. I will meet you there. So now I have reached this chain 3 space and in this space we are going to make 2 single crochet. So make 1, go back to the same space and 2. Now jump to the next double crochet that we see here, make a single crochet in it, single crochet in the next and keep on making single crochet till you reach this chain 2 here. I will meet you there. So now I have reached this chain 2 space. This is our corner. We are going to make 3 single crochet in it. 1, 2 and 3. So for this single crochet round, just continue making 1 single crochet in all the double crochets in the chain 3 space, we are going to make 2 single crochet. Then make a single crochet in all the double crochets. And in the chain 2 space, we are going to make 3 single crochet. Just continue the same. So in this space, we are going to make 2 single crochet. And in this next space, we are going to make 3 single crochet. So I will meet you once we reach the end of the row. I have made 2 single crochet in the last chain 3 space of the round. Make a single crochet in the next double crochet. The next double crochet, the next double crochet and the next double crochet. And this is the end of our round. We are going to join by a slip stitch to the first single crochet of the round. So here we have our slip knot and then our chain 1. And then we are going to make a slip stitch into this first single crochet that we see. So insert your hook below both the loops of the V. Yarn over pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. So this is our last round and our pico stitch round. We'll begin with a chain 1, single crochet in the same stitch. And now we are going to make a pico stitch. We're going to chain 3 first. 1, 2 and 3. Once we chain 3, we're going to go to our very first chain. So there's a loop here and a loop here. We'll just insert our hook below this top loop like this, this first loop here. Then we are going to catch the yarn in our hook and pull it through this loop and pull it through the loop on our hook. So we have made a pico stitch and we are going to skip this next single crochet and single crochet in the next. So we have worked here, skip the next single crochet and make a single crochet in this next stitch. So let's do it again. Once we make the single crochet, we are going to make a pico stitch. So we are going to chain 3 first. 
Now we are going to find our very first chain and insert our hook below this first loop that we see. Then we are going to yarn over and pull through this loop. And if we want, we can just hold this part here so it's easier to pull through the loop on the hook. After we make this, we are going to skip the next single crochet and in the next single crochet, we will make a single crochet. So we are going to continue doing this till we reach the corner stitch here. That means these three single crochet that we made in the chain 2 space. So once we reach this first single crochet, I will meet you there. So I have reached the first single crochet of these three single crochet of the corner stitch. Just before that, I have made my single crochet and my pico stitch. So I am going to skip the first single crochet of the corner stitch, jump to the second and make a single crochet. Make a pico stitch. And after this, I am going to go to this third or the last stitch of the corner stitch and make one more single crochet and a pico stitch. So for this stitch, we have not skipped one single crochet. But now onwards, we are going to continue skipping one single crochet. Just skip the next single crochet and in the next, we will make a single crochet and a pico stitch. Skip the next single crochet. In the next single crochet, we will make a single crochet and a pico stitch. So we will continue to do the same till we reach this next corner. Work this next corner in exactly the same way as the first. So we will continue all around and I will meet you at the end of this round. To reach the next corner stitch, I am going to work this corner stitch with you. So you can see these are my three single crochet in the corner stitch. And in the stitch before, I have made a single crochet and a pico stitch. I am going to skip the next stitch, which is the first of the three single crochet in the corner stitch. Go to the second single crochet, make a single crochet and a pico stitch. And then we are going to go to the next stitch. So we are not going to skip a stitch, just go to the next stitch, make a single crochet and a pico stitch. After this, we are going to skip the next single crochet. In the next single crochet, make a single crochet and a pico stitch. Then skip the next stitch. In the next stitch, we will continue with our single crochet and pico stitch and so on. So I have reached the end of the round. I have made a single crochet and a pico stitch here. Skip the next stitch. Into the next stitch, we are going to make a single crochet and a pico stitch. And now I have reached the very last stitch of the round. So this is my last stitch. We are going to skip it. Here is my slip stitch. Here is my chain 1 stitch. Next is my single crochet. Insert your hook below both the loops of the V of this first single crochet. Yarn over and pull through. And then pull through the loop on the hook. And this is the end of the round. I'm going to leave a small tail end. Cut the yarn. Pull out a loop. And then weave this in on the wrong side of our work. Thank you so much for watching. The links for the Flatastic shawl, the vest and the poncho are in the description box below and on the screen. See you next time.